Hey guys, welcome back to my Yahoo Fin video series. In the first video in this series, we talked about how to install the Python package Yahoo Fin and how to use that package to scrape both historical and real time uh, stock price data. In this video, we're going to talk about how to extract financials or fundamentals data from Yahoo Finance using um, uh, the Python Yahoo Fin package and we'll be extracting uh, information like cash flows, balance sheets, and income statements. If you need a refresher on how to install Yahoo Fin or you want to go back and, and see the details on how to get uh, historical or real-time uh, stock price data, feel free to go back to that first video, which you can do by clicking the link in the description below. All right, so just as a reminder, when we have Yahoo Fin installed, we can import it by saying import Yahoo Fin dot stock info as, let's say, as SI. And this will import the stock info module from Yahoo Fin, which we'll use to extract the uh, fundamentals data. So let's get started with downloading uh, cash flow statements. We can do that by writing SI dot get cash flow. And within the get cash flow function or method, we want to uh, input the name of the ticker that we want to get the data for. So let's say we want to get the cash flow statement for Netflix. We would just type in the ticker symbol for uh, Netflix, NFLX. And I'll press enter. And that downloads the cash flow statement for uh, Netflix from Yahoo Finance. Now, if I set this result equal to a variable, let's say we call it cash then now we'll have a data frame called uh, cash which has the uh, cash flow information and then we can use that variable to then uh, pull out specific rows or records from the cash flow statement and the way that i do that is by uh, typing the name of the data frame so we'll have cash and then dot loc and then inside these brackets i'll put the name of the row that we want to get back so let's say we want to get the uh, net income uh, record for example so here I would just type in net income and that'll uh, pull back uh, year by year um, the details on the net income from the uh, cash flow statement and similarly if I want to pull something else like investments I can just type in investments and that'll pull back the details uh, in this case, we only have details on 2016 and 17, and those details are not available in the uh, 2018 or, or 2019 uh, years. Now, if you notice, this uh, cash flow statement is, is being pulled back on a yearly basis. But if we want to get uh, quarterly cash flow data, we can do that as well by adding an, an extra parameter to our uh, get cash flow call called yearly. And we'll set yearly equal to false. And now our the response that we get back is quarterly uh, base data. And I can see that by just typing in cash.columns. In this case, you'll see um, quarterly dates rather than uh, yearly dates. And just like before, we can, we can pull out specific uh, rows of the cash flow statement. So let's do cash.loc of uh, net income. And now this pulls back the quarterly data results for net income based upon this uh, cash flow statement. So like um, the other functions in Yahoo Fin package, if we want to get data on a different ticker or a different stock, all we need to do is change the, the ticker input. So if I want to get uh, Microsoft data, I would type in uh, the ticker for Microsoft, and then that gets me quarterly data for Microsoft. Um, if I want to get data on, let's say, Amazon, I would just type in the ticker for Amazon, and that gets me um, that quarterly data. All right, now that we've shown how to download cash flow statements, let's talk about how to extract balance sheets. We're going to do this very similarly to getting cash flows. So now instead of writing si.get cash flow, we're going to write si.get balance sheet. And here again, all we need to do is put in the name of the ticker that we want to get the data for. 
So in this case, Netflix, that pulls back the balance sheet for Netflix, or again, you could do Microsoft and that'll pull back the balance sheet for Microsoft. And just like getting cash flows, if we wanna get quarterly data rather than yearly data, we just add that as a parameter. So we'll set yearly equal to false. And that will pull back quarterly data, which you can see by looking at the headers of the result data frame. So let's set this equal to a variable. Um, so I'll call it balance. And this pulls back quarterly uh, balance sheet data for Microsoft. And now using that, I can pull out uh, specific rows of the balance sheet, just like we did for cash flows. So here I'll write balance.loc. And then in brackets, I can say, let's say inventory, for example. And this will pull back the inventory row. Uh, and you can see by date what the inventory values were uh, based upon the balance sheet data. And again, you could do this for another row, like accounts payable. And that'll pull back the accounts payable data uh, by quarter. In addition to getting cash flow statements and balance sheets, we can also download income statements. So let's say I, I want to get the income statement of uh, Netflix. Here, I'm going to type in si.get income statement. And then again, I'm just going to type in the name of the ticker. So let's say for Netflix. And that downloads the income statement. And again, I can get quarterly data by specifying yearly to equal false. Um, I can change the ticker to another stock. So let's say for Microsoft, and that'll get the that'll get me the ticker or the uh, income information for Microsoft. And I can set that equal to a variable as well. So I'll call this variable income. And just like cash flows and balance sheets. I can, I can write income.loc and in brackets specify the name of the row that I want to uh, get details on. So if I say cost of revenue, this will pull back the cost of revenue, um, in this case uh, by quarter uh, for Microsoft. And similarly, I can do, uh, let's say total revenue instead, and that'll pull back the total revenue details. In addition to making one by one calls for a cash flow, balance sheet, and income statement, if you want to get back all three of those for the same ticker symbol or the same stock, we can do that in one call using this function called um, get financials. So here I'll type si.get financials, uh, let's say Netflix, and I'll, I'll set this equal to a variable called uh, financials. Now, if I uh, type financials.keys, um, I can see that the result that gets uh, downloaded from, from calling get financials is a dictionary. And that dictionary gives me a set of key value pairs. That So looking at the keys, I see that uh, we get back the yearly income statement, yearly balance sheet, uh, yearly cash flow statement. And then we get the same, the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow on a quarterly basis as well. So for example, I can type in financials of yearly income statement, and that gets me the uh, yearly income statement for Netflix or yearly balance sheet. Or I can type in, let's say, quarterly cash flow, and that'll get me uh, the quarterly cash flow information. If I want to only get, let's say, I, I only want to get uh, quarterly data and not yearly data, I would specify yearly equal to false in the uh, financials call. And now if I check the keys in the dictionary that gets returned, it only has the quarterly data. And similarly, if I only want to get uh, yearly data, I could specify quarterly equal to false. And that'll give me just the yearly data. 
All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And just as a reminder, if you want to learn more about the Yahoo Fin library, make sure to check out my blog at theautomatic.net and you can click on this link at the top of the page for the Yahoo Fin documentation. In the next video in this series, we'll be talking about how to use Yahoo Fin to extract option chain information. So please stay tuned. And also make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much.